What's up guys welcome back to yet another review video so in this video we'll do a in depth review of oxygen os 12.1 version c.21 for oneplus 8 series so without wasting any more time let's get started here we have our oneplus 8 so just few days back we received the new update of oxygen os 12.1 wherein version was c.21 and i've been using this device as my primary phone and also i have some mixed feelings because i did not find it that stable though it can be used as daily driver but some ui glitch and other minor issues have been noticed so we'll cover everything what all issues i have noticed i have all the screenshots of that and i've also checked out the comments of the first impression video we'll try to answer the questions what you guys have asked me before starting with the review process let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video we still have 82 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So one of the major issue what I have been experiencing on my OnePlus 8 and it's not after this update this issue have been there from the day one when we received the first build of Oxygen OS 12. So that's related to Wi-Fi calling and right now also you can see I don't see icon of Wi-Fi calling even if the device is connected to Wi-Fi wherein I have also enabled Wi-Fi calling feature. And I have tested out of two SIM cards. Right now I'm using my Geo SIM card on this. I also tested out with my Airtel SIM card and on that also I had the same issues. So here you can see Wi-Fi calling appeared. It keeps appearing now and then but it's not stable. So the bugs which I'll be talking about in this video aren't permanent. They are temporary and can be easily fixed. That's the reason I said the build can be used as daily driver because we have seen only temporary issues and some temporary UI glitches. The second one is with the YouTube application. Sometimes if you auto rotate your device, you still get to see this rotation icon in between the video. You have to manually tap on this button to remove it from the screen. Though Gmail notification have been completely sorted out, on previous build, I used to face issues with the Gmail notification, but now I don't see any kind of issues while receiving mails from Gmail. Right now, this issue is only present with OnePlus 7 series, what feedback I have got from our users. But starting from OnePlus 8 series, including even OnePlus 9 RT, I did not find any kind of issues with the Gmail application. You can say notification issues. Instantly, notification appears from the same app. And I also went through few comments in which users were reporting that if they get Get any whatsapp call the screen doesn't turn on so here you can see i did a whatsapp call on this number but i don't find any kind of issues screen instantly gets turned on whenever i receive a whatsapp call so if you guys are facing this issue make sure you have allowed all the permissions of whatsapp and also keep in mind that notification have been turned on this only happens when notifications are turned off for the whatsapp application then there's another issue what people have been reporting related to Netflix wherein they say they don't get to see HDR and Widevine L1 certification. So let me show you. So here I have Netflix installed going to app settings and if I check playback specifications here you can see Widevine certification it says L1 and also I have the support of HDR10. So for me personally, I did not find any kind of issues with the Widevine certification and HDR support. This can happen with those users who have L3 Widevine certification level. We have made a video on fixing Widevine certification level on OnePlus smartphones. Just give it a try. If that doesn't work out, you need to visit service center itself. Another issue which I have noticed with the keyboard itself. So whenever you have turned on the default setting, which means to say keyboard location settings, we get to see this black bar towards the bottom side. In some cases, it's completely transparent and in some cases, it's completely dark which looks very weird while using the device or you can say keyboard though it can be fixed by enabling hide option from the keyboard settings and most users aren't aware where to find this setting so for that what you have to do is go to system settings keyboard and input and towards the bottom side you will see this keyboard setting from here you can enable this feature now the gap from the keyboard will also disappear and you won't see any kind of weird color at the bottom side also on oneplus 8 series after this update you can see play store is not certified though there were no issues using payment services i've been using my google pay from the day one and there were no issues while using that though if you check the settings of play store it says play store is not certified and here's another glitch which is a notification glitch so this is how it appears sometimes as said all the bugs are not permanent they are temporary once you again swipe down the notification panel this do disappears but sometimes it happens like this this is how notification appears even while using the application 
and from play store you won't be able to update netflix application so you have to manually sideload the application to update it because it says the app is no longer compatible with your device so these were some of the bugs what i have encountered using my oneplus 8 running version c.21 now another thing which most users were concerned and that's battery backup and the charging speed so i did perform charging test and i have screen on times let me show you all the screenshots with no doubt i got really good battery backup with my normal usage so here this was the first battery cycle in which i only got 3 hours and 26 minutes of screen on time with my normal usage this was the second battery cycle wherein again 3 hours and 28 minutes this was the third battery cycle wherein i got 3 hours and almost 40 minutes of screen on time fourth battery cycle i got almost 5 hours of screen on time with normal usage with the last cycle which i have recorded there i got 5 hours and 23 minutes of screen on time with normal usage not any kind of gaming this is the overnight battery drain wherein i kept my device idle with 62 percent remaining and when i woke up in the morning it was 57 percent so only five percent of battery drain was noticed overnight wherein i always keep ambient display turned on and on previous build many users used to complain about the charging speed so that have also been improved on this update where you can see i kept my device for charging at 1258 when the battery percentage was four percent and within 59 minutes my device was completely charged on oxygen os 11 also we used to see 55 to 60 minutes to completely charge this is the second time when i recorded the charging speed wherein we started with 3% and the time was 6.3 at 7.10 my device was completely charged so I personally don't have any kind of complaints with the charging speed now talking about the camera part so I personally did not find any kind of improvements in the picture quality though I have noticed bit of jitters while switching to video recording or whenever I start video recording and that's my personal experience as you can see here soon I started the video recording there were some jitters initially when I started the recording and the same thing happens like if I open the camera application after a long time or if that app is not running in the background that time also soon I open the camera application we do get to see a bit of lags this wasn't the case on previous build but I have noticed after this build so I think this has to be taken care by oneplus in the upcoming updates and talking about the picture quality there are not a significant of improvements done in daylight images are decent and good enough but in rainy conditions the processing elevates more haze in the scene contrast is there but slightly more than required which crushes the shadows dynamic range struggles against light in artificial lighting situation the images are so soft the details are good but lack sharpness and clarity i personally feel we cannot do anything more and improve the camera of oneplus 8 it's already an older sensor don't expect camera improvements after one year of device launch time for more improvements in photos just use google camera and use various xml files with settings though i'll also provide the supported google camera application in the description below and now at last let's talk about the performance part so to test out the performance of my device, Device, I basically play BGMI which gives me a fair idea about the performance so I did play multiple matches after updating the device to version C.21 and trust me guys I did notice bit of improvements compared to previous builds on previous builds most of the times if a device warms up FPS used to drop between 40 to 50 FPS it wasn't maintaining constant 60 FPS and right now I personally don't want to talk about 90 FPS though you'll get the graphic settings supporting 90 FPS but our oneplus smartphones none of the oneplus smartphones including oneplus 10 pro we don't get the max output of 90 fps so you can just forget 90 fps right now let's hope in future we get the support of 90 fps but talking about the gaming performance on this particular build as i said i did play a lot of games after upgrading the device to test out the performance part and seriously guys my device was constantly providing 55 to 60 fps though i did notice bit of more heating on the device while playing bgmi wherein my ambient temperature was around 25 or 26 degrees celsius the maximum temperature which i noticed was around 43 degrees celsius on my oneplus 8 overall gaming performance was smooth enough not much of frame drops to be seen on my oneplus 8 after this latest update meanwhile here's a small gameplay which you guys can take a look at Wait, 
स्पॉट स्पॉट के मारो आशम रुक जाओ रुक जाओ पहाड़ी पे तो नहीं है अरे बढ़िया रुक जा रुक जा पहुंच गया मैं ऊपर ओके तो पीछे बॉट आया Okay, so guys, this was my complete review of Oxygen OS 12.1 version C.21 for OnePlus 8 series. If I had to put up my thoughts about this update, it's a decent update. There are some minor UI glitches here and there, but it can be easily used as daily driver. We get to see better battery backup, better gaming performance, charging speed have been improved, and for the camera part, I don't expect much of improvements in upcoming updates also. So it's a good to go update. If you guys haven't updated your device, then you can update it whenever the OTA is available, or you can manually install the update. So guys, as of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.